today's guest. Welcome back, Alicia Santos. Hi! So today we're going to make ube biko with yema topping. Yeah. Hi, here's the ingredients for biko ube with yema toppings. Two cups sticky rice with one half cup of water. It's already cooked. You cook three fourths cup of glutinous rice flour, one cup ube halaya or purple jam, one and a half can of coconut milk, one half cup of brown sugar, one fourth cup of condensed milk, one tablespoon yam flavoring to enhance the color. For the toppings, four egg yolks, one can of condensed milk, and one fourth cup or one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we need a pan, which we will line with banana leaves. Here's the first step. Combine one can of condensed milk and three egg yolks. Stir continuously until it thickens and cook according to your desired thickness. Hindi, ipanagay mo is that 10 to 15 minutes? Right? Yeah, looks good. Ayan, yan na yung itsura niya na hinahanap natin ng consistency at luto na. And then, we're going to set aside for the topics later. Now, we're going to proceed for the preparation of sweet rice or pico. Kyumi, can you please combine one and a half cup of coconut milk? And one cup of brown sugar. Mix well until it's combined. No heat, Puna, right? No, no heat. Do you think it's already well combined? Yeah, one well combined. Okay, second step. Cook in medium heat. Yeah, just stir continuously until it boils. And to me, the boil is di ba? Now let's adjust to low heat. I'm just as a low heat because it's simmer. Okay, and then Kumi, add one cup of ube yam. Okay. Yeah. You need to um, stir continuously. You know what, Kumi? May option sila. Dahil may rap ng gumawa ng ube yam. May nabibili sa store, di ba? Yung store ube jam. Yeah, store yeah, they can use that at that option. Uh, see to it na matunaw siya. Yeah. Ayan, pwede mo na habang tinutunaw mo yan, you can add ube flavoring. Ube flavoring? Yeah, ha, one fourth teaspoon to enhance the color and the flavor. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There. Kita mo kulay? You may you can add the two tablespoons of glutinous rice. You may mas maganda yata nagyan pa natin ng additional coloring, right? Maybe let's add one more teaspoon of ube flavoring. See, ayan na oh, you may oh. Natutunaw na yung ube, right? Yung ube ala yan. This one is oh, see? Look at the color now. You can add the one fourth cup condensed milk. Ano dapat mga inconsistency niya? Smooth or okay lang yung no, until yun. late. No, it's supposed to be smooth. Smooth. Yeah. Eventually, it becomes. So, yung lumps uh, dapat mo wala. Yeah. That's your goal, Kumi. <laughs> That's enough, Kumi. Now, you can add the cooked sticky rice. Mm -hmm. 
add one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extra. Yeah. Kasi meron na yung ano, yung vanilla yung ano natin halaya. Now you can um, adjust the heat to medium. Stir continuously until all fluids evaporate or until we reach our desired consistency. Supposed to be mad dry na siya. Okay. Yeah. Yung parang sticky. Yeah. That's why it's biko, right? It's dry. Mawawala na yung liquid niya and then kukunat na siya. Yan ang mahirap sa biko, Fiumi. And thank you for helping me. Ikaw mahirapan. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi, uh, yan ang magpapakunat sa biko na i-stir mo ng matagal hanggang, hanggang ma-dry siya. So, si Sito it na pag na hinahalo mo ma well combine o ma, ma ano yung rice na matunaw na hindi na siya dikit-dikit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yan ang board mo. Oh, Kyumi. Ayan, nag-evaporate na yung liquid, di ba? Yeah. Yeah. na ba siya haluin? Yeah. Pag, so, paano manalaman kung... Hmm. Na, na evaporate na yung liquid niya tsaka naging oil na siya o lumabas na yun galing yan sa coconut milk. Tapos pakita mo sa kanila uh, yung kung paano yung hinahanap nating consistency. Yeah, ibaksak mo ng konti. Ayan. Yan, para makunat siya fiumi. At lutong-luto na siya doon sa pinagalo nating gata. Ayan. Kaya ang tip dyan, Kiyomi, or mga Christelicious viewers, kailangan hirap nyo nang haluin at naglalangis na siya. Ayan. Diba? Para makunat siya pag sinerve nyo. Ayan. Ngayon, Kiyomi, lilipat mo na yan sa pan. Kiyomi, here's the final product. Ayan. After na nating mahirap ang maghalo, Ita-transfer na niya sa pan, blind rib. Uh, what's that? Dear, uh, banana, banana leaves. leaves. Ayan. O, diba? Ang hirap? Ayan. Ito masarap dyan, no? Masarap. <laughs> mm. Ang sarap. Pinsan ng sarap. Mmm. Okay. Okay siya. Almost done. Yeah. And now, kill me. Can you please put this on top? And spread evenly. Mm -hmm. And you spread the bowl. Yeah. Lastly, we're going to put in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes. To broil? Yeah, to broil. Until it turns golden brown. And we're done. We're almost done. And give me the guam. Spreading the yam on top. Yeah. And then, I'm going to put it And then, it's a little For 8 to 10 minutes. Okay. Ayan, Kiyomi, after ng 8 to 10 minutes ng broil, mga 8, mga 8 minutes. minutes lang, ayan na po ang itsura niya. Ayan. O, diba? It's look yummy. Ayan na po ang ating ube, ube biko with yema yeah, topping. Pinaghalong lechup lang na ube na yema. 
promise na gugustuhan kita. Yung caramelized yung taas. Yeah, and then crispy siya. Tanda lang. Ang hap. Kaya, mga crispy delicious viewers, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on below. I'm sure you're gonna like this. Bye! Start it up. <laughs> I said start it up! Okay. Go! Hi! <laughs> Take eight. Take nine. Take 10. Action. Go, go, delete. Action, action. Hi, welcome back to Crystal Issues Kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, sorry.